Oh, oh, great. Yeah, go ahead and send them in. Ms. Pullman, thanks Dean's for coming Trump. in. Come, thanks so much for coming in. I appreciate yeah, it. Hey, sure, Dean Strong. What's up? I do, unfortunately, have some serious business I need to talk to you about today. Oh, no. And this has to do with the university's code of academic integrity. Oh, um, as you probably remember from other classes, there are four aspects of academic dishonesty that are covered in this policy. Collusion, plagiarism, fabrication, and perhaps the most serious, blatant cheating. And this has to do with the paper that you wrote for NR205, which had to do with boating and crowding on Lake Champlain. You know, one of the things that sort of surprised me when I read your paper, because I know that you really have this strong, you know, sort of understanding of natural history and ecology, is that you actually chose a subject that had to do with human attitudes about crowding and interactions among boaters. That was kind of my first thing that caught my eye. But I actually went back last semester and looked at some of the other papers, and it's really similar to, I think, a friend of yours, Mr. Kensel's paper um, that he did last year for this exact same class. No, um, I was trying to do something new. Well, I don't know. I mean, can you tell me a little bit about some of the issues that have to do with boats and crowding on Lake Champlain? Like, how do boaters respond to crowding? Mm. They don't like it. I know that. Can you give me a little bit more detail about that so they don't like it? What's their response? Well, um, uh, they're worried there's not going to be enough fish. Mm, right, yeah. Do they just stop boating, stop fishing? No, I don't think so. Mm. Um, Anything else that you remember about the report? Um, well, I remember about uh, uh, the native fish population and perch and uh, climate change. Yeah, well, those are really important points, but what Mr. Kensel reported on last semester was the boaters actually displace. They find other places to go and they essentially alleviate crowding um, by spreading out. And you found that exact same result, but it seems like you don't really remember doing the research. I mean, was this actually your own research? I was under so much pressure, Dean Strong. I'm so sorry. I, I thought I could, I thought I had time to do it, but I just didn't have enough time to, to do it. So did you actually did you actually use Mr. Kensel's report? I, I looked at it. Yeah, I did. Well, they're exceedingly similar. I mean, yeah. not quite verbatim. I am so sorry. Am I going to fail? Well, in this case, I mean, this is a significantly serious offense. I mean, this is cheating, plain and simple. And I am going to have to refer you to the Center for Student Conduct. Um, in this case, so sorry. there's an adjudication process that really is out of my hands. I'll present them the evidence, um, but really it has to go through sort of, you know, official university channels. Okay. Am I going to lose my scholarship? Well, that depends on the findings here, um, and I, I would guess that you're under some you know, pressure to maintain a GPA to, to maintain that scholarship. Yeah, I was right on the edge, and mm. I was really worried, and I just didn't have time. I've been working so much. I have to work 30 hours a week just to be here. And, well, uh, I appreciate that, and I think that at some point you really have to look at what can you actually accomplish within a given semester? Um, can you actually go to school and work at the same time, or do you really need to separate those? Okay. But yeah. in this particular case, just so you understand the consequences, what will happen as this goes through the process is there will be a finding that has to do, in essence, with the seriousness of the offense that you've uh, incurred here, and what we will do is, we being the university committee, will really decide, will this be, in essence, a failing grade that shows academic dishonesty, an XF, um, which essentially is on your transcript forever, or are there some other opportunities where you can really learn from this and uh, take advantage of some other 
um, reflections and ways to kind of um, write about academic integrity. I didn't mean to take his work. I just ran out of time and I was worried. Well, as you know, we've gone over this policy. I mean, you're in now a junior in the core curriculum, and you've heard this for many semesters, not only in the core, but in other classes as well. It, it really is a... Can I just write a new paper? No, unfortunately. Um, this is a serious offense. I really do need to report this, and we're going to have to go through the system and understand what, the, what UVM Center for Student Conduct has to say. Okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate you coming in. I'm sorry we had to meet under these circumstances. Yeah, I'm but, so sorry. Uh, well, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll be in touch, and I will uh, pass this on, and I'll keep you copied on my okay, correspondence. So, yeah. Thank yeah. you. All right.